giving all the honor and praises to Allah, the Lord of the worlds and master of the day of judgment. I honor him. I give him all the praises. It is to him I give all the glory. And today's message is going to be entitled, Arabian Woman Receive Your Medi, Part 2. Now, every day I go to bed with a t-shirt hanging up, along with many other t-shirts from my store. And one of the t-shirts is the... Arabian woman, receive your Madi. Now, right now, I'm on my YouTube channel, as you can see. And I want to talk about this woman that I admire her commitment. And I admire her consistency and her zeal. She is on YouTube every day teaching the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon him. And this woman, I want you to see her channel. Ibn Umar stated to him that Allah's Messenger said This woman right here, as you can see, She's consistently at it. And I can keep going down. I can keep going down. I can keep going down. And she has a spirit that is so consistent. And I admire that. Nowadays, women are concerned about nails. They're concerned about fashion. They're concerned about boys. They're concerned about men. They're concerned about everything else but the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon him. Now, in the Arabian nation, that is different. I admire that the Arabian women are taught to honor their Prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon him. And they know his teachings. And this woman right here, man, she's consistent. Her commitment is amazing. And I've been sending comments, and I haven't been uh, mean, but I have been straightforward and holding her accountable a little bit. Um... And today I just felt so touched in my heart to do a message. And I commented on her video and I told her, told her I admire her consistency and her commitment to Islam. Now, it's such an amazing thing to run across women like this. A woman who wants to cover up, even though she's drop dead gorgeous. She wants to cover up, although she has killer curves. She wants to cover up, although she got some stuff underneath there that, that can make you cry. It's so precious, okay? And maintained and clean, okay? Now, this is a servant's nation. The Arabians are servants, as all the other nations, excluding Israel. Israel is the heirs of all the books, including the Quran. And a lot of our brothers and sisters in Islam don't understand that. But I just wanted to take time to admire um, the consistency of women who are all about the word. Okay. And in my Arabian Woman Receive Your Maddie Part 2 series. What I want to focus on. I want to try my best to show you something that can open up your eyes. If I could think of something that I know 
that can open up your eyes and help you to see that Al Matty is black. Number one, your prophet Ma Messiah, your prophet Mo um I want to say the prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Because I'm looking at the mantle. But the prophet Isa is an Israelite. Moses was black. He was an Israelite. Jesus was black. al is black. I don't know how I can convince you. Your Quran, let me go to the screen. It's an amazing thing connecting with my, my people. I'm reconnecting with my people right now. The Quran uses metaphors, honey, to strengthen Muslims faith and it uses similes it uses figurative language it uses metonymy it uses dark sentences parables all these things are included when it comes to the Quran the Bible and the Hadiths and every word in the Quran is a metaphor. Every word in the Hadith is a metaphor. For instance, your prophet said, the mountains of Ahud love him. And he said, we love those mountains. He wasn't talking about those literal mountains. Now, the Christians love to get literal with every Bible verse. You got to open up your mind, okay? This is going into the Hood Apostle right here. This is going into me. See, look. I'm the hood apostle. I'm the hood apostle. You see me? Look at me. I'm that cobblestone they kiss, but they ignore in person. You see my silver pants? That's the silver. That silver is going into the virgins. You see the prophet Muhammad did something in latter history after Israel, which was remarkable. He married a young woman, a very young woman. Okay? And the Christians hate him for it. Okay? Especially white people. And, and let's just be honest. They always give him that low blow with Aisha, right? Okay? That silver surrounding that black cobblestone is going into the virgins. Okay? And that pillar you see to the left of it is going into a pillar all right and that's personal but as you can see the stone has two eyes and a tongue in which it would judge the worlds and i am that okay i am exactly that all right and that's what I wanted to show you. I wanted you to see that. I'm going to hold you accountable. Who cares what your husband say? Who cares what your dad say? Who cares what your mom says? I'm Al Matty. I'm going to judge you. I'm the stone that you're going to touch at the last day. If it's in sincerity, if it's in sincerity, you'll be okay. But if it's in sin, no, you're not going to be okay. You're going into the judgment and it's severe. I'm the stone. Look at me. My middle name is Lamonti. My dad name is Monty. I am the mountains your prophet loved. Okay. Now I'm trying to be basic. I'm trying my best to make it so simple for you to get this thing. Now. In the Quran, it talks about your chief having a raisin head. Okay? It talks about your 
cop of being taken apart by a guy with skinny legs. My legs are very skinny. If we was to line up 10 men right now, my legs would be the skinniest. Okay? 90% chance for sure. All right? I'm here. And this is the Arabian woman. Receive your Al Maddie. We need you. I honor y'all. Now, I want to go back to this. Y'all got dressing down packed. Now, we're going to modify it. We're going to get it right. But if you want to cover up, it's okay. It's okay. Okay? Now, I look at the nation of Islam, especially the Arabians, as Lazarus in the Bible, who was dead for four days and he was wrapped up like a mummy. But then Jesus spoke to the Father and the Father raised up Lazarus and he took the grave mummy clothes off. And Islam has to be restored. Okay, I don't want to say sweetheart. I don't want to say anything that's going to be disrespectful. Even when I say honey, it's just something to make the conversation sound sweeter than just normal words and me saying, okay, okay, okay. All right, but I am here. I'm out, Maddie. If scholars are lost, I love them. Okay, um, they're not in the light of Christianity, but there's another ditch on the side of Christianity, and it's called idolizing the prophet Muhammad. And many of you are guilty of it. Many of you, many of you are guilty of idolizing the prophet Muhammad. Now, I'm trying my best to be basic for beginners and give you the ABCs and the one, two, threes. Islam is a religion where you receive a prophet through a prophet. And the Muslims were receiving out Mahdi through the name of Muhammad. But the name Muhammad didn't belong to Muhammad. It was in the beginning. That's why Abraham was a Muslim even before Muhammad. And so the original Muhammad, sweetheart, and after you understand my goal to impregnate virgins, then you'll know I'm not saying that to flirt because I have a goal to impregnate virgins. That's why the black stone is surrounded by the silver. Al Mahdi is from the house of David and I have to resurrect the tribes of Israel. And that's why in the laws and in the prophets, it tells us that the seed of David would reign forever in our book. Okay. In the Torah, in the law, in the gospels. Okay, Israel would be restored ultimately, and that's through Al Mahdi raising up the 12 tribes of Israel and restoring true religion. You see, honey, I am the I, I am Israel, but I'm also Ishmael. Okay, I am the nose, I have a big nose. You know why Al Mahdi has a big nose? Because I know the end, I know the end. Okay, you know why I'm the mouth? You know why? It's because I am Allah's microphone. All the other prophets were my microphone. That's a huge difference. That's a huge difference. Okay? al Mahdi knows. He has the eyes. He is the mouth. He is the face of the Lord. The Kaaba is his. Uh, the chief cornerstone of the Kaaba is where y'all face and direction and prayer and what y'all point to. Is actually a picture of a person and that's me okay according to the Bible if you ever read it in the book of Psalms it tells us kiss the son lest he be angry with you in Psalms chapter 2 and that's not talking about Jesus and Allah has no sons and you and me agree on that this is talking about Al Mahdi you see the secret sweetheart is that Al Mahdi is the God of the Bible Trying to make it easy for you. Whoever is the God of the Bible, it's Al Mahdi, not Allah, because Allah has no sons. Okay? And if you can just get that in your mind and understand that Al Mahdi is the father, that's why the Kaaba, you have Abba which is father, 
Okay. Jesus said the stone in which the builders rejected, the same has become chief. This is talking about a person and the same person that is considered chief is the same person with the raisin head. The same man that's going to raise up the 12 tribes of Israel and the same man that is prophesied of in Deuteronomy 18 and 18. Many of us thought it was the prophet Muhammad, but it's the real prophet Muhammad. It's al Mahdi, And it says that he will raise up from among Israel a prophet like Moses. That was not the Arabian prophet Muhammad. This is al Mahdi, me speaking with you now. I honor these women for the way they dress. Everywhere I go, women are showing it. And I don't trip that much because some of these young boys, they got their thumbs up. They, you know what, need to see something. They need to see something cleavage, okay? Make them reconsider what they're doing. But we in California, it's hot. You go to Bakersfield, it's hot. These women are dressed like this, okay? And some of them got bodies better than your wife. And they ain't showing it. They got it covered up. Okay? They got it covered up. And they've been honoring my um, religion for quite some time. You see, the truth about al Madi and these Arabians, you see, especially my daughters like this woman you see in this picture, is the story of David when there was a time when kings went to war and David tarried at Jerusalem. He's tarried. He tarried. He tarried. And on his roof, just like I got a roof on my house, he looked and he seen this beautiful woman washing. Okay, this woman washing. This woman was bad. She, but get it? She was taking a bath. This is going into women like this woman right, this woman right here. Cleansing, washing. You know, women are lazy as hell. Okay, women are some lazy creatures. Okay, now a Muslim woman has to wipe, wipe that thing, wipe up, wipe, wipe herself five times a day. Okay, it ain't like she a guy and she a private Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, where she can just... Do one ablution on five salats. No. These women are in the bathroom a lot. These women are praying. These women are, are, are cleansing. Okay. All right. These are the type of women that know how to give you the death stare. Too. All right. And it be hot and they be dressed like this. Now, I ain't going to lie. Some of them. Don't deal with my type, you know, because their nation has the glory because right now in their minds, they believe that Islam belongs to them. So their heads are held high. But I want to show you something in the scripture, honey. I'm going to show you something in the scripture that's going to pump your brakes about all that, because Islam never belonged to Qadar. And Qadar is Arab. It belonged to Israel. Okay. And that's why you have a Messiah that's an Israelite. Now, right here in Isaiah 21, 16, for thus hath the Lord said unto me within a year, according to the years of a hireling and all the glory of Kadar shall fail. What does that mean? Basically, what that means is at the end time, when al Mahdi comes, he will be ruler. And so, therefore, his race will be magnified because the 12 tribes are going to come from his loins. The new Israel, the new Jerusalem, the 12 tribes, all of that is coming from his bloodline because he is an heir. He's an heir of the worlds. And so what that means is Israel will be center stage again, preferred above all the worlds. As it says in the Quran, the heirs of the book. And what that means is what? The Arabs will have to take the back seat. And so all that glory that they had is going to fall. Okay? Because their race does not have the royal lineage. Okay? The promise was in Isaac. 
Okay? And that's why they had Isa or Isaac, get it? Isa as their Messiah. And that's why they have al Mahdi as their ruler. The prophet Muhammad was told he's not a father. He was told he's not a supervisor. He was told he's not a poet. Because all these things I am. I am all of these things. I am al Mahdi, Lamanti, Almighty. See, that's a poet. al Mahdi, Lamanti, Almighty. al Mahdi, Lamanti, Almighty. al Mahdi, Lamanti, Almighty. Al Mahdi Lamanti Almighty. Okay, I can show you my ID. Y'all serious? I show you my ID. That my name is actually Lamanti. My name is Daquan Lamanti Clay. Okay, I'm here. All right. He couldn't name me Al Mahdi. He had to name me Lamanti. Why? Because I'm the stone that you kiss. I'm the stone. All right. I'm the father of the prophet Isa. That's why I will meet him. And when it's time to pray, he will decline because I'm the father. I am greater than him. Right now, prayer has been restrained, honey. Ever since the stone came down here in 1982 that you faced during prayer. Ever since I came down here and once I woke up, Allah told me to restrain prayer. He said prayer is restrained. And then I automatically went into the times of prayer. And there's times in prayer where it's restrained. And this is during the sunrise. And I am the S-U-N. And I'm here to judge. And this is my time. The stone is down here. What we praying for? There's sin everywhere. How can you pray with sin everywhere? Okay. We don't need no prayer to change. You don't need no prayer to change. You just need to change. We got things to take over. We need to take over this earth. All right. We need to take over Christianity. We got a lot of things to subdue. And we need riders like this right here. Okay. These women love the prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon him. Okay. These women love the Prophet Muhammad like a old woman loved Jesus. Okay? But ten times ten. Times 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 ten. Okay? This is the reason why David seen Bathsheba from the top of the roof. And he seen her cleansing herself. And he was like, hey, I want her. I don't want that old Christian woman that don't even know how to wipe, that don't even want to stay clean, that don't even want to take a shower every day. You know, there's women that don't want to take a shower every day. Okay, there's women that don't want to wipe. Okay, that don't want to put no water on it. Yeah. Okay, and so David seen that woman, Bathsheba, and that's why he snatched her up. And that's exactly what's exactly about to happen with me. I'm about to take the Kaaba and I'm going to rule over the Arabs, whether you like it or not. But I'm not racist. I love them and I honor them. Out of all women on the planet, these type of women, along with the other nations of women over where they at, they dress more modest than our women because our women just want to show the monkey. Okay? They just want to show it. They just want to show it. You and I know it. You and I know it. They want to show it. Okay? And they'll look at you like you looking at it when you ain't even focused on them. That's how attention drawn they are. You ever seen a woman? They'll just be walking and then they'll give you a look like you looking at them and you just actually just trying to look at the item that they're blocking, okay? These women are that attention. Um, they just so crazy about attention like that, all right? And these women heads down, and I've been saying this, and even before I knew I was Al Matty, I love the Arabs. It's just Allah had a strict word, and he let me know why the devastation took place with 43 plus thousand Massacre is because ignoring, because of ignoring rather the scriptures 
of Al Mahdi in the Bible that speaks of him being from the house of David. And the prophet Muhammad was speaking in the metaphor the whole time, even on his last speech, when he said no other prophet would come after me. All that was Al Mahdi speaking through him. And I'm going to close it by making it so simple that you can understand the religion of Islam. The religion of Islam is you receive a prophet in the name of a prophet. That's how it is. There's one God and there's one messenger, although there are many messengers. And all of the messengers are under one name and it's Muhammad. Okay, that's why Abraham is not mentioned in the Shahada, even though he's mentioned in the Salat. That's why Jesus is the Messiah and he's not mentioned in none of those. Okay, because the name is Muhammad. And when Jesus said, I, I, I speak of Ahmed, when I speak of Ahmed, he was really in a metaphor speaking of al Mahdi. because think about it. If the religion of Islam speaks about a person that's going to clean up the planet at the end and his name is al Mahdi, and he's the father of Jesus. Why would Jesus speak of, of, of Arabian prophet and not speak of his daddy? When Jesus was speaking about Ahmed, he knew what he meant when he said Ahmed. He was speaking of al Mahdi, his daddy, whom, he, whom me and him both will meet. And he will decline from prayer. And that's when prayer will begin. Right now, ain't no prayer popping off. Ain't nothing going up but a Shahada to al Mahdi. Okay? Because religion has to be restored. So... With that being said, I broke that down to you. The perfect example of the religion of Islam is Aaron and Moses. One God, one prophet. And I am that one prophet. Okay? Although I have many members, many people been wearing my coat. Many people been using my mantle. Many people been in my office. <laughs> but I'm the owner of it. Okay? And Islam is my religion and Allah is my God, not yours. Okay? Okay? That's the reason why we have those sayings such as the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Ishmael and the God of Jacob, because he's not your God. He's ultimately, if you really want to know the truth, and I'm not saying it to be rude or to you or anything. If you really want to know the truth, you want to know whose God Allah is. It's ultimately al Mahdi's, and his name is Muhammad. That's why it tells you to believe in Allah in the last day. And sweetheart, here's your miracle. I am the last day. Boom. My first name is Daquant. I'm the Dauphin. A Dauphin is an heir. It's French. France. I'm a, it, it's French and it's a term for an heir. Okay. I am Daquan. My middle name is Lamonte. That means mountain. And my last name is Clay. If you take a C, and I'll do it live right here so you can see. And you push it close to a lowercase L. Look. Boom. Boom. And then you got day. Same thing. C. And then you put the lowercase l. Boom. Day. I am the last day. You got to believe in the last day. Okay? Because he's my God. That's why it says believe in Allah in the last day. Because if you don't believe in the last day, you can't believe in Allah. And I am the last day. When you say believe in Allah in the last day, it's just like you said, believe in Allah and Muhammad. It's just like you said, believe in Allah and al Mahdi. Okay? It's just like you said, believe in Allah and Daekwant. Same name. Okay? I am the A. I am the Z. I am the Jay-Z. 
I am the Rockefeller. I am the Cassius Clay. I am the Flavor Flav. I am the man that knows the end. I am the Noah. I am the Lot. I am the man walking around with the watch. And today was spectacular. Okay. She has a zeal. She has a zeal. It's just in the wrong. It's sad, it's sad, it's sad. The wrong prophet. We honor the prophet Muhammad, okay? We honor him. But for some reason, from Christianity to Islam, we have an issue with the person getting the credit. In Christianity, Jesus got the credit, and the father didn't get it. And in Islam, the Arabian prophet got the credit. And Al Matty didn't get it. This is the reason why I'm called the stone. The builders rejected. Now I gave you truth. And I represented and I held it down. I just honored the Arabian nation. And I told you the truth. I am the skinny black man with the thin legs that's going to take the Kaaba apart. I am the black man with the, with the raisin head. With the little head. That's your chief. I am Lamonti, Almati, Almighty. I'm the stone on the corner of the Kaaba because Jesus said I'm chief. And Matthew 21, 42. I am the Bilal that was on top of the Kaaba waking you all up. Why? Because at the last day, Allah is going to judge you all through me and he's going to resurrect me first and he's going to resurrect you all through me and I will judge the world as the stone.